I just finished the project that I built for the scrap wood challenge for the Maker's Mob. And in case you're not clear about this, the videos that we're putting on there, all six of us, I have to apologize to John Peters for <laughs> forgetting about him last time. Man, my brain. Let's, I don't know. It's like one of those things that water just run a sieve. That's it. Those videos are free on the Maker's Mob. You can go, just go there, sign up. Like, no obligation. Just sign up. You can watch all six of them when they come out. One's already out, like I said before, the Neil Paskin one. So I got a link in the description of this video to go and have a look. And there'll be another one this Friday, and then a Friday after, and then a Friday after that. And uh, mine will eventually come out too. But I was inside editing it, and I've been doing that all morning. And uh, I thought I'd break it up by coming out here and filming something to give myself something else to edit. <laughs> what I've got here is the... Um, what is this called? <laughs> A spindle sander, I guess. Oscillating spindle sander that I was talking about last time. I wanted to have a look. I don't think I ever looked. I wanted to have a look inside and see how... Wow, everything's falling out. That's what I don't like about this camp. It's got this, see it's got this, the thing on the front, this rack. And whenever I'm blowing, like before I used to use the air hose from the compressor, right? And go around and blow things off. And uh, it would blow the, especially the smaller sleeves off. Okay, so. Uh, it's got a bottom on it, this plastic bottom. What I, I'm really looking to do here is investigate ways to maybe possibly improve this before I build one for myself. Okay? Because you ever, I don't know, if you've ever started doing something and uh, your intention was to, you know, just just to get it done tight, just, just to do something to improve it, like, you know, it could be anything. It doesn't have to be this kind of thing here. And then you, you, when you get into it, then you decide that you want to go further with it. You want to, so that's the idea here, right? I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have a look inside this and, and possibly think about ways to change the top so I can get bigger sleeves. I was going to order some new sleeves, ones right up to three inch, because I think they would be handy. Uh, I think they're the same height as these, four and a half. Hang on. Yeah, four and a half. Same height as these, except they go right up to three inch. And then I would make some new sanding drums, okay, rather than these rubber ones that shrink. And then I had suggestions about <laughs> how to, you know, fix the shrinkage again. Uh, a wintergreen oil or something. Lacquer thinner made them swell up. They swelled up. Getting them to swell up wasn't a problem. It's that they shrink again after about a month. Okay, so I got to assume that everything that makes them swell up is eventually going to lose its effectiveness and they will shrink again. And that's not something I want to be doing all the time. You know, you come use the machine after a month and you find that the damn thing shrunk again. You got to tie it. You can't take it off and let the thing soak. You have to use it. I need a permanent solution. And this is this is a good one, but, you know, if I can make some... Anyway, why don't I just take the bottom off of this and we'll, we'll have a look. Too short! Yeah, look at that. Look at all the dust that's inside there. How long have I had this? A long time. I've had this a long time. Something just uh, it's one of those washers. Okay, so you can see what's inside here. It's a, it's an all-in-one unit. Okay. Um, motor looks like it's it's uh, one third horsepower, five amps. It claims. Let's just put let's just plug it in. And see, it's completely self contained. Okay, there's some magic 
happening inside here? Okay, there's a burning smell. Maybe, oh, 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 smoke. I guess it doesn't like being upside down like that. Okay, that's not good. All right, so I'll plug it again. And I guess I'm going to have to take, wow, what a stink. I'm going to have to take that off. I'll get a socket to do that. I'll be right back. All right, check the nuts off. I'm taking this thing out. There's a spring in here and a lot of grease. Yeah, this is what I assumed it was. Some sort of planetary um, gear arrangement. Okay. So, wow, uh, that's a lot of grease, man. And it's so uh, it's icky. Uh, I need something as a spatula. Yeah, if I was going to build, like I, I talked about worm drive, here's the other way you can do it. You can do it with the planetary gears. Uh, but the thing about the worm drive is if you could get it down low enough uh, in speed, like if you drive a, a wheel directly off the shaft, like if you put a band of rubber around, say, an 8-inch wheel, and push that tight up against the shaft, the shaft will actually drive that. Okay? Almost like a pinch roller type arrangement. And um, this is really too icky dirty. And the idea is that that would be part of the speed reduction. The other part, though, like the worm drive would be, the, like with that arrangement being driven lower, the worm drive wouldn't have to be saturated, like it wouldn't have to be in a, a, a gearbox. It wouldn't be subject to such huge amounts of friction. Like this thing would be if you didn't heavily uh, lubricate it like this is. I don't know how this is attached. It's probably, um, I'd have to take the whole thing apart. And that's something I don't really want to do. So. The way this works is obviously riding up and down. Like, see the bottom of the thing here, the cup? There's a ramp built in. Okay? See, it starts high up here, and then it's low down over here. And it you, you can probably see it better this way. See it? Like that, the ramp? So that's what pushes the thing up and down as this thing is turning. Because this is captured. Okay, this outer ring is captured inside the, the housing. See those fins inside there? So it rides up and down. So this thing's going up and down, riding on those pegs that are riding on those ramps that are on the inside. This sounds complicated. And it is, really. It's, it's, kind of, it's quite a, an ingenious mechanism. But you can't do that. Like, I, I can't do that and make plans from it. Because, like I said, this thing is too high speed. You can't make wooden gears and expect to make a case like that. Well, you probably could. But I don't, I, like, you, I can't anticipate how long the wooden gears will last. Because they're turning at a fairly high speed inside here. Okay? Even though the thing is not turning itself, you know. The, the, the gears that are inside here that transfer that power are. So the thing that I should probably do with this is to, I wonder is there an orientation that this is supposed to be? Probably, because these pegs are in different positions. Uh, I should have marked that. I should have marked that. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it up and turn it on, okay? It's not plugged in. <laughs> okay, it's working. You can see how long the stroke is on that. It's not far, you know? It's not, there's not a, not a huge amount of stroke on there.
So why don't you why don't you put the damn thing back together? Alright, and then we can talk some more. This is where someone points out it would go faster if you have one of those handles, like the screwdriver one that dry. I have one of those. But by the time I find it, I can have this done already with this. That's the curse of the special tool. All right, somebody recommend, I talked about uh, a center punch almost working like one of those Vix bits. And then somebody pointed out that you can buy it. I'm sorry, I can't remember. With the brain like a sieve, right? And um, so I bought one. And <laughs> I'm damned if I can find that. I can't find that. I don't know where I put that. And that's the other thing. I mean, if you got the special tool, you're compelled. <laughs> you're compelled to look for it so that you can use it even though you don't really need it you have to find it because you have it because that's what it's for okay anyway hopefully this still works we'll find out we'll find out and this grease stinks I could take the top off of this. See, this thing tilts, right? Which I've never done. For as long as I've owned this thing, I've never tilted this top. Only one time, I think, just to get it out of the way so I could use something else. Okay, I could actually, I could actually build a new base for it. I mean, why not, right? <laughs> Yeah, this thing is all self-contained. It's bolted up to the bottom of the table. You can see the bolt right here. And there's another one on the other side. That's all there is to it. So maybe that's what I should do. Build a new base with a top that doesn't tilt, that accommodates three inch holes, make new inserts that are actually useful and level with the thing. Even though these have leveling screws, we don't do that, the chaos. <laughs> and uh, either use this for the next, you know, 20 years or use it as inspiration to build a new one, you know? But it would definitely be an improvement to this one because I would build in places for the sleeves to go that aren't out in the open like this you know it'd be like almost like a drawer maybe one of the, like a, a hinged a swinging drawer you know like a butterfly it swings from both sides and um, it would have the sleeves in there and all that stuff right and then the stand has room down there like it has drawers so so yeah, I think I'll do that. I'm the repairman. What do you repair? A lifetime of bad habits. Okay. You do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Just put your arms behind your back. Ah, it's okay. I know, um, just behind your back. Is this okay? Just relax. Is this part of it? 